Good morning, everybody. For those of you who came to my birthday, that found it on Facebook and came, I want to thank you very much. For those of you who bought me my birthday presents, if you only knew how badly those items were needed, I want to let you all know I appreciate it very much. <coughs> now, for what this video is about. When I talk to you, I talk to you all about a different path, a different government. Never do I say change. I mean Obama has given us change. First we have to get rid of Congress's concept of the Kennedy Doctrine. Ask not what the country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. That's a nice saying, but it's a dangerous saying. It's a saying that's no good for each and every one of us. It's a saying that we cannot accept. It's a saying that we cannot tolerate in this nation any longer. Look at what our government has asked of us since the death of Kennedy. <coughs> First, the Vietnam War. And we went. And many young men died. And came back nothing like what they were when they left. Got to see the horrors that the world is really developed about. Got to see the evils. Got to see stuff they really did not believe exist. But we're not going to get deep into the Vietnam War. We the people said no more. There's only so much you can ask of the people. But Congress didn't quit. They continued. Didn't listen to the people. We had to go into the streets and almost tear the country apart to end the Vietnam War. Did it stop there? I don't know. Memorial Day ceremony as I was watching a Navy general, I mean a Navy admiral and an Army general speak and I'm looking at the ribbons on their chest. So many ribbons. The only time I've ever seen the chests of a high ranking officer like that was those after World War II and the Korean War. And to think a man today who would spend four years in the service can acquire ribbons from the Iraqi War, the Afghan War, and the Libyan War. Our Congress has not stopped asking us to do. And in turn, they do less and less for the United States and more and more for themselves. Our Congress is more concerned about the Republican Democrat Party than they are about the United States of America. The individual political parties care more about promoting their own particular ideals than they do about the American people. And I say that's wrong. We need to go on a different path. The Kennedy Doctrine is not working. And we, the guardians of our government, it's our responsibility to see to it and correct it. The new doctrine needs to be the government is there to assist the people in a social order and society. Not to control, not to regulate. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I'm looking at all my Facebook stuff. I'm looking at all the stuff that I get. It's never going to happen. <clears throat> you are all so buried into the past and so gloom and doom. You don't realize the strength and power you all have. <clears throat> You're all concerned about your own little world. 
to a government that feels we ought to serve them. Not ask what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. That's Congress. And that's their feelings. So when you say this is wrong or that's wrong, well, we really don't care what we do for you. It's what you do for the government that matters. So you truthers yell this. You other truthers yell that. You progressives yell this. And you anti-socialists yell that. They don't care because you are to serve them the Republicans and Democrats. You're, they're not there to serve you. They say so when they say, vote for me, give me the honor to serve you. But look, every time you elect them, they serve their political parties. They don't serve the needs of the people. They don't serve the needs of your desires. They don't go in the direction that you want. They're not there to assist you. They're there to regulate you. And you allow it. I see it by all the videos you all send me. I told you all in good time. I meant all in good time. It's time you all realize you can make the difference. But only you. You can believe the rhetoric that comes from the Republican Party or the Democrat Party. I don't care. And get the same crap you've been getting year after year after year. There's nothing different there. They don't promise any difference. And if you want to see what you're going to get, just look in the past 30 years of our own government. You can see what the Democrats will give you. You can see what the Republicans. Nothing different. It's for you to serve the government. Well, if that's the way you want it, then go that way. I told you I'm a different path. I'm the path of our forefathers. It's that our government is to serve the people. When a government is to serve the people, then the voice of the people becomes important. You vote non-voters say because they don't listen to me. Because you don't matter to the government. You're there to serve them. You only matter if the government is to serve you. It's time our people of the United States of America takes the very same path that our forefathers took. Not a change of direction, a total different path. The government is there to assist and abide by the wishes of the people. Whoa, wait a minute. <coughs> That's what our forefathers fought for. A government of the people, by the people, for the people. That's what the Declaration of Independence is declaring. That the individuals... And when the government no longer listens to the individuals... It needs to be removed. But we don't have to do that. We have a government that's no longer listening to the people. They hear you when it comes time to vote. And they make a few surface promises. But you get no change. You get no real change. What's the difference between the Bush administration and the Obama administration? Well, in the Bush administration, well, let's see, the first Bush, we had one war. The second Bush, we had two wars. The Obama administration, we now have three wars. <coughs> wow. <coughs> that is change. And I don't like that progression. To me, I'm going to tell you a little story about me. Back when I was younger, I used to go, and I, I, I hung out with no specific group. My sister Cookie, she 
she would like to call herself a hippie or something. And I would hang with them sometime. And one time we got in an argument about something. I don't remember what it was. But then she yelled at me, uh, I'll go home, you part-time hippie. And I looked at her and said, something like, wow, what do you mean? I don't remember the really, but I do remember what the leader of our group said. Cookie, of all of us that are here, he's the only one true, real hippie. He's the only one who truly believes in the things that matter. He is the hippie. We are the part-time hippies. Because you see, I believe that each and every one of you out there matter. I believe that each and every one of you is an individual. And that you have a voice. And that your voice needs to be heard. And that your opinion needs to be listened to. And I believe that the government is there to serve us, not us to serve the government. These are in my core beliefs. I'm sorry, when you go looking into my past, you're not going to have no political crap to come against. You're going to have someone who was a child, taken away from his parents, became a force a child, till he was old enough to get off the system, then went home with his mother, helped his mother buy a house, worked all through high school, never really kept much of anything, then from there joined the Navy, had a family, first marriage fell apart, got a second marriage, which was nothing more than a divorce rebound, <clears throat> I think that's what it was, I don't know, or it's just that I wanted to help somebody, that fell apart. Met my wife on the internet. Current wife. <clears throat> and that's it. Skeletons. That's it. You got everything right there. Is there anything I'm ashamed of that I did in my life? No, not really. I'll discuss anything out open and forward. Am I knowledgeable about the world? Yes, extremely knowledgeable. I'm fairly well read, but I don't remember the titles of the books. But most of the books I read are science and history. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not interested in novels and stuff like that. I'm interested in history, and I'm interested in science. And I'm interested in you, the people, and what you think, and what matters to you. And there our government should be serving the people. I see so many abuses every single day. They're little abuses, but they're abuses that is allowed by the government. If I ever get that bus donated to me, I will stand at a place to show you the maximum abuse our government does to the individual people. But that will have to be a bus donated. Very similar to the Sarah Palin bus. Matter of fact, I looked at it and it looks almost identical to the one I described a couple of months ago, except for the only difference is it's got Sarah Palin on the front instead of JD. Well, people, the way I see it, it's up to you up there. You can continue sending me these videos about this, this videos about that, all that. Those videos don't matter. It's what you think that matters. I read, I read every single post someone posts. The videos they send me, maybe one out of ten I look at. Most of us I've already seen. So it really doesn't matter. Some of them are so old you guys really don't realize how old they really are. Other things, you got to understand before we can do what needs to be done for our country. We must change the path of our nation. It's time for the Kennedy Doctrine to be laid at rest. For Congress to quit saying, it's what you must do for the country. For Congress must be there to serve the people of the United States of America and no other. That is what our government should be.
no longer saying we are to serve the government, but the government is to serve the people. That's not going to happen as long as you continue on the Republican Democrat path. They've been too long, too set. It's a feud that will never end. And that will change when we go on this different path. How am I going to do it, you ask? Well, I've talked about many things. And there's a few things I haven't told you. Because like at them, they have been tried. But they don't know the soul to the things. So therefore, it doesn't happen. It's up to you, the American people, to realize you are 